All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the clone stamp tool and the spot healing tool. So um, the clone stamp tool is right over here in your toolbar. And it looks kind of like that. And let's see if we can get the preview to pop up. Um, so what the clone stamp does is it paints from other pixels and puts it in on, on your image. We're going to use that and the, um, the spot healing, which basically you get to brush over and it removes. So let's go ahead and get our images. We're going to go to my website. Um, and this is healing brush and clone stamp tools. So click on this, this um, download link right here. And it's actually going to just open the image up like this. What we can do is right click on it and save image as, and we're just going to save this into the download folder. I've already got it there, so you would hit save. I'm just going to close this out. Then we can go back over here and scroll down and get our second image. And there it comes. This one's a little bit more higher resolution. Once it's all downloaded, then we're going to click right click, save image as, and we're going to put it in the download folder again and click save. So now that we've done that, we can go back to Photoshop and then we're going to go file open. We're going to navigate to the download folder. We're going to start off with the crosswalk. And let's go ahead and open up. We'll go file open and we'll get the second image as well. Okay, so now that we have the two images there, let's start off with the crosswalk. For this one here, uh, what we want to do is we want to go over to the clone stamp tool. So I'm going to select the tool um, and then I want to get, I want to zoom in a lot on the image. So I could go up here and go view, zoom in. You'll see it says zoom in, or it also says control plus, it says plus plus, but it means control and plus. So let's go ahead and do that on the keyboard. Um, I'm going to go control plus. So I'm going to zoom in once, twice. Now I want to be able to move my image around. So I can go over here and I'm not sure which one comes up as a default. I'm going to use the hand tool here and you'll see now my mouse becomes this hand. I can grab and move this image around. So I kind of want to, I think I'll start here. So I want to center um, her in the crosswalk. The next thing I'm going to do uh, is go back to the clone stamp tool. Now our, our objective in this assignment is to remove all of the people in the image uh, using the clone stamp. And then we're going to use a little bit of the spot healing. Let me show you how this tool works. The first thing that we need to do is we need to set a target of what pixels we're going to use to brush. So we want to remove the people. So what we need to do is probably select some pixels from here and brush over and uh, then some, some of the other white uh, lines and brush over. So the first thing you need to do is push uh, hold down alt on your keyboard. And you notice when you do that, the mouse turns into like this target. And so that's where we're going to set the target. We're going to click right here. And um, I'm going to make my brush size just a little bit bigger, probably about as big as the opening in between the lines. And the neat thing about this is uh, Photoshop is previewing what's going to happen. So you can see you want to you want to be mindful of where you're lining up the action here. If I was to just click and hold here, well, that's not a very good selection, is it? So um, what I want to do, let's go back here, click there. I'm just going to come in right here and I can just hold down and brush. Now it started to go through and select the hand again over there. So let me come over here. I'm going to sample from there and I'm going to brush in. I want to be real mindful of, of um, where I'm lining up that, that brush. I don't want it to be hold alt. Okay. So you can see my line was not the best right there. Let's see if I can clean that up. If I come over here, and just sweep through there. Okay, that was pretty good. Now I've got a little bit of a shadow right there, so I could come over here, maybe with a smaller brush. So I'm just working with what's the white paint there and just kind of sweep through there. Okay, not bad there. Let's go on to this, this part here. Now, I wanna, I'm want probably going to use this area here, but I've got this line that's going on here. So maybe I'll clean that up first. Let me get a little closer here. Uh, I'll make my brush just a little smaller. I think I'll sample from right here. Alt. I'm going to just clean up that part of the of the line. Okay. And now I can make that maybe just about that big. Sample from right here. You can use that space bar. The space bar also goes to the hand. And so Alt can line it up right here. And let's just swipe over there. So that's 
pretty good. And, and I'm just holding down and kind of going back and forth. Um, that works in some scenarios. You just kind of have to feel out how this tool works. I'm going to go over here, press Alt, and I'm cleaning up that part of it well. So I'm pretty happy. You can kind of see that it took this part right here. Let me go to the right here, and it copied it and put it right there. So it it is doing an exact um, painting of this the place that you're sampling from. So this one's going to be a little more tricky because these people are so close together. So let's go to our clone stamp. Okay, let's make this a little bit bigger here. I think I'll go beyond the line here. Press Alt to sample. Okay, let's see there. Okay, I don't want to. I'm going to resample over here. <clears throat> Brush in there. It's it's interesting. You can see that it's kind of depending on. Where it's sampling from, you're starting to bring in her, her head was kind of reappearing in another spot. So let's go resample here and click and brush in. I'm going to go right here. Okay. So right there. And um, okay, now I'm going to come over here, press Alt. Whenever you see that trigger, that means that I'm, and I click, that means I'm resampling. So this one, I'm just going to try to click and sweep through there and see how well. Now look, that didn't work out so well. It just came, you'll notice that it's it starts to copy where, how, how do I describe that? As I sweep through it, it is sampling from a big part. So it's once I got to here, it sampled from his head. Control Z, let's undo that. Alt. So maybe I don't want to go too far with that sweeping selection. Okay, not bad. Come in right here, Alt, resample, click. I'm going to do some clicking. Now I've got this shadow here. I don't really want to sample from there. Maybe go further here. Okay, and then this one here is kind of dirty through there. Do I want to sample that part? Okay, let me go through here. I'm just going to. Clean up that part. I can come right here. I'm getting real nitpicky here. But let's see. All right. So that's your objective. We've gone through. We've used the clone stamp tool. <clears throat> we removed all the people in there. So now let's go to the painted hills. In this example, um, I zoomed in, control plus. And now I'm going to go to my spot healing. So this tool is a little different, spot healing. We just kind of need this one. You don't have to do that sampling from. You just I'm gonna make the brush a little bit bigger. You just brush over, and for this image, it does a it does a pretty good job of just sampling over there. Um, you could come in with the the clone stamp tool here, and what's interesting here is it's sampling from my previous image. So let's hold Alt. You could come in here and kind of resample, but it did a pretty good job. Okay, let's see what how the how the spot healing tool does on this individual. Okay, so not too bad, but you'll see it. We don't have a good kind of patchy here where the path should be. So let's go over here to the clone stamp. Let's make a smaller brush. Hold Alt. It's gonna go in right here, and, and it got a little fuzzy here where the erosion's coming down. So I'll sample from up here. I'm just going to bring in a little bit of erosion. Now we're so close. Let's zoom out and take a look. At this point, it looks fine. So uh, that's how you complete this quick assignment. It's just a little bit of a review of the spot healing and using the clone stamp. So go ahead and turn those two images into the same assignment. All right, look forward to seeing how you guys do with this.